I'm Rob Mushkit with IR Supplies and Services. I'm going to demonstrate the proper assembly and operation of the new 88 exposure device accessory, the pipe liner. This is an 880 Delta light version demonstration unit, and this is a fully weighted 880 Delta in a retrofitted with the pipe liner accessory. The biggest difference between the two is you have an inverted 880 in a pipeline version. We're going to take the uh, front shoe assembly and attach it to the pipeline jacket. Elevator. Shoe assembly. Shoe bolt. Pivot bolt. Hook plate. Take our exposure device, front shoe assembly, tip it upward slightly and hook it into the hinge position, lift up our handle, insert our pivot bolt, screw it in hand tight. Same to the other side. You want to install the collimator. Collimating guide tube has the uh, bayonet fitting attached right or built right into the collimator. You want to take the outlet port cover. Put to the yellow position, line up our bayonet fitting, insert, and turn down. Open up the outlet port cover and flip up the exposure device. We'll insert the uh, shoe bolt through the handle. And again, hand tight. Good enough. We'll stay in this position or you can tip it back down. We want to take our hook plate, attach our straps to our hook plate, the polyurethane straps. There's a loop on one end. You have your tag in with nothing on this end. Take your hook plate in this position. You insert your tag in through the opening. Flip the assembly over. Press your cam buckles. Insert through the cam buckle. Now you have an adjustable strap. Take the other one, same thing. Drop your loop to the down, take your tag end, insert it through the opening, flip it over, press your cam buckle, and push your tag end through. I roughly adjust them about the same length. 
I'm going to attach our hook plate to our pipeline accessory. I'm going to make sure our hook plate is facing this way. Insert the strap through the strap guide and then hook your loop to your strap bolt. We'll do the same on the opposite side. Just roughly to the length of pipe you need. We're going to be doing six inch, so that's pretty good there. We'll do our fine adjustments once we're ready to go to work. And there you have your pipeline accessory ready to go to work. The correct operation of the 880 pipeline accessory on six inch pipe. Form serving. We're going to drape the hook plate over top of the exploder device and we're going to grab the exploder device, crank handle and swing handle at the same time. Lift it onto the pipe. By grabbing the exploder device on both handles, it allows us stable positioning on of the exploder device. We're going to move the pipe liner into position using our body to balance it on the pipe. We're going to attach our number belt onto the pipe. You can then move the pipeline into position, tip it up, and using the handle, we'll align the explorer device directly over the weld. This gives us proper source positioning. We're going to move to the front of the explorer device, reach over the pipe, grab our hook plate, hook it in. Using our knee, we're going to hold the handle down and adjust the straps. Ensure the straps as tight as possible when we're doing this. The exploring device is now securely attached to the pipe and we can now position our film. We're going to use a bungee to attach the film. We need to make a knot in the proper area. The film is still working from the front of the exploring device. What that's going to do is going to ensure that it receives the least amount of radiation. Also, it's going to protect the rear of the controls from being kicked. We're going to take the tension off the rear of the controls, and we're now ready to take our exposure. Form survey. Remove our film and move the exploder device to the next position. Hand placement is very critical and using the handle as a bit of a break to get it in proper position. Still working from the front of the exposure device. Tension on the controls is a lot less on the side position. Form survey. Remove film. And we can move the exploring device to the next position again. Hand position is very critical. Still working from the front of the device. Remove tension off the controls.
finish taking the, our explosives on that weld, form survey, remove film. Remove clock tape. Remove the explorer device to the top of the pipe. You'll notice the hook plate is loose but cannot be removed off the pipe. This is a safety feature to ensure that uh, the explorer device can't accidentally fall to the ground. It would just simply fall around to the bottom or slip around to the bottom rail. To remove the hook plate, depress the handle and pull up to the side. And there, remove the hook plate. Tip back onto the wheels and we can go on to the next weld and do the same thing. Just to show some different techniques, uh, on most molds we have to take three exposures, top and then the two side exposures. Take your top shot with a film on the bottom, it's your first exposure generally. Uh, we can take our second exposure by moving the device to the side, clamping it on, taking our shot on the side. Then as you saw the way Joe did, we flip it up over the top, take our third exposure. There's also other methods that we can do, for example, when we're in this position, our next exposure, we can take the device, drop it in, hook it in, allows us to take our third shot. If you do it that way, you must make sure to bring it back around the same way. Again, another technique. When you're in this position, you take your first shot, uh, exposure device is on top, film on the bottom, you take your second shot, move it to this position, take your shot, and also if you reach over the pipe, remove your handle, and using the falling momentum of the exposure device, you can push it up into the third position. Shot. There to show you some different techniques.